Hello everyone. I am Trisha, a final year PhD student from IIT Bombay and I am a synthetic organic chemist. Today I will be talking about my PhD work which will be mainly focused on annulation reaction. Now take a moment and look around you. Whatever you see, literally whatever you manage to spot has one thing in common. They are made up of some organic molecule. It could be very simple molecule like ethanol or isopropanol, slightly complex one like caffeine or even a polymer of very simple molecule. From brushing our teeth in the morning to take meals, wearing clothes or to take medicine. Everything is organic chemistry. We cannot help but be surrounded by organic molecules. Hence, it becomes essential to know how to synthesize this molecule in an efficient manner. And that is where synthetic organic chemists are invaluable to the society. Now, some of naturally occurring molecules have extremely complex structures, which require the development of new chemical transformation. The idea of synthetic methodology is to develop new transformation, which can either reduce number of steps, increase overall yield, or utilize cheaper material to reach these biologically important target molecules. And this is the research area of my PhD. Now, it is very important to understand that all good discoveries are not planned. Once a serendipitous result is observed, it must be thoroughly analyzed to identify and then finally develop into a new synthetic methodology. And by chance, my PhD thesis is based on a couple of such accidental observations which were developed into useful organic transformation. We came across our first project while working on something entirely different, wherein we wanted to hydrolyze this enol ether. Upon treatment with TMS chloride and sodium iodide, we did not observe what we planned, but it provided this one iodonaphthalene derivative. Upon careful observation and proper analysis, we identified the product and we termed this process as iodoannulation, which means an extra ring is formed accompanied by introduction of an iodo group. We realized that this direct transformation was carried out with excellent alpha regioselectivity with respect to the position of new iodo functionality. And the best thing about the transformation is the iodination is taking place in less electron rich benzene ring. Now, if you are familiar with aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction, you'd know that such selectivity is very difficult to achieve. 17 different substrate having a diverse set of functional group were synthesized and the transformation could also be reproduced in equally good yields at much higher scale, which highlighted the generality and scalability of our methodology. Now, in a rather domino type effect, one accident gave rise to another. During our iodoannulation project, an attempted cyanation of 2 bromo acetophenone provided the desired nitrile along with a new compound, which was identified to be this bicyclic product, which shown in red. Given the substantial quantities which is forming, we looked into the literature and realized that even this transformation is quite challenging to achieve in only one pot using such simple reagents. We realized that it was uh, the addition of the water in the system would facilitate the reaction and the new product could be formed exclusively under this hydrated condition. Once again, total 27 new substrate were synthesized, which include four different drug analog. And most importantly, this method utilizes extremely cheap copper cyanide as the only one reagent and you don't need any moisture free condition. The reaction could be done in open atmosphere where the reactants could be added in any order and heat up to get the product. So to the end, in summary, I have given a glimpse of serendipitous results when analyzed and developed properly can provide very 
useful tools for development of new synthetic metrology. But of course, one cannot set up project expecting accidental discoveries, but ignoring such results would lead to loss of such valuable synthetic knowledge. Thank you.